All right, let's get into it. Stop evil speaking. How's that for the first New Year thing? Be careful what comes out of your mouth. What you say you're going to get. What you say you are going to get. It is a biblical principle. If I teach you nothing this year, just get that right. Speak life, speak destiny and prosperity, and you will have it coming to you. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 1, it says this. Therefore lay aside all malice, all guile, hypocrisy, envy, and listen to this, and all evil speaking. Lay it aside. Put it aside. Do not be part of it. Now, why is it so important that we do this? Simply because you are going to reap whatever you are speaking over. If you speak evil, you are carrying an authority. You are a child of God. And if you speak evil, you are going to reap it sown back into your life. And so we need to shut those doors and stop it. Because it's going to totally devastate you. Now, when Peter sits down and he says to the guys, and he's down trying to teach them, and if anybody knows to watch his mouth is Peter. And Peter says, listen, get away from this stuff now. Change the stuff, because whatever you're going to be giving, you are going to be getting. And we think, and we cover it up, and we say we share in love and we do all sorts of things and get all sorts of reasons why we do what we do. The truth of the matter is we have no right, no biblical ground whatsoever to speak evil and to sow evil into any situation. And so we as Christians need to move away from this. We need to speak life, destiny and purpose in everything that we do. God is looking for the church to grow up. So saints, it's up to us. To genuinely say, God, I am going to speak life this year. I'm going to speak blessing. I'm not going to agree with the devil's agenda. How does the devil work? He presents his case and then we come into agreement. Satan did this from the beginning. Did God really say? That's what he said to Adam and Eve. And they started to doubt and agree with the devil and that was the end of it. They had chaos. Do not speak evil over anything or anyone in Jesus' name. Amen? So, right now, when we come around the table, let us ask God to clean up our act in Jesus' name. Ask God to help us that we speak life, blessing, and destiny wherever we go in Jesus' name. On the night that Jesus betrayed, He took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. And the blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. So right now when we come around the table, say, God, help me. So that this is the year of life. This is the year of destiny. This is the year of promise in Jesus' name. Father, we come before you right now. And in the name of Jesus, I ask you please to forgive us of anything we've done wrong. But Lord, I pray right now that we will come into a new dispensation, a new era, a new time. Lord, will we speak life, destiny, and purpose in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that you are going to help us to mark our words and be careful of what we do in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you're going to help us to move by your Spirit, to be there and do what you've called us to do. Father, I release the power of God. I release the anointing of God. And Lord, I thank you that we will never, ever be the same again. In Jesus' name. Lord, we release the power. We release the glory. We release the destiny and purpose. And we thank you for this. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Welcome to 2024. Let's allow Jesus Christ to lead us and guide us. Amen. Let's partake. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you are moving by your spirit in a mighty way. Lord, I thank you right now that you are going to do something supernatural in and through each and every one of us. Thank you, Lord, that you are in control. Lord, thank you that you are leading us, guiding us by your spirit. And Lord, I thank you that we are healed by the dunamis power of God. I command every single symptom to go in Jesus' name. 
And everybody said, amen, and amen. All right, folks. It is January the 1st. And I want to just say that we are so excited about what God is doing. God is going to do some incredible things in this season. Now, people have asked me, many have asked me, why don't I take a prophetic word for the next year? I don't believe God stops a word at the end of the year. Let me tell you what the prophetic words are saying over the season, which goes into this year, right? There are six major focuses. Number one, prayer. We have got to, if you've listened to the, pro, uh, the prophetic words over the last week that I read out, prayer is the primary focus of everything. So number one is prayer. We are going to raise up prayer warriors in this nation. Number two, we are going to go Psalm 91 and pray it over our nation every day. And I want to say this, if you would like to be added to our Psalm 91, please just record you reading Psalm 91 on your phone and then WhatsApp it to me and I'll add it to the list. 12 o'clock every single day we have Psalm 91 going out on our Facebook page. Number three, communion. We have communion 9 o'clock every single morning. These are the prophetic focuses that the world prophets said we should be focusing on. Number four, we need to focus on small groups. All right, small groups, fellowship groups all over the nation. Why? Because we are creating an umbrella of prayer, a wall of prayer across this nation. Okay, number five, worship. Make sure that you're getting to worship. All right, make sure that you know how to worship and worship God and go to worship events wherever you can get them. Number six, we are going to have to get trained on how to bring spiritual authority into the local place where you are at. All right, and that's still in the process where we're going to have to teach you how to do that. So those are the six major focuses that the prophets have said. But what they've also said is this, that prayers are going to be answered a lot faster. Stuff that you've been waiting for for years is suddenly going to start happening this year. Stuff's going to start coming through quickly. You're going to start seeing quick response to your prayers. This is what I'm so excited about. All right. So please get ready for these things because we are expecting some supernatural things to happen in this season. There are going to be some incredible things. I'm ready and as soon as I can, I will announce some of the biggest breakthroughs that God is busy doing in our nation. And I'm telling you now, there's going to be some incredible things happening this year. So hold on to your seatbelts, folks. This is going to be a bumper ride of fun. This is not going to be a tough year. Last year was a battle year. Now, remember this. This is a year still that we there is a clash between light and darkness. There is a waging war for our nation. As we go into this year, I want to say, please, guys, don't slacken off. We are going to have to fight for this nation. The political fight, the spiritual fight is astronomical like I've never seen before. So please, when we call for prayer, pray. When we call you together, come together. Let's do what God has called us to do. Amen. But God is going to bless this nation. So I want to remind you that um, it is Monday. So uh, we are still in our holiday season program. So right now, tonight, please get ready for our guest speakers. We still got guest speakers every night this week at 7 o'clock. So please watch the program. And I trust that you guys enjoyed um, the uh, midnight crossover last night. I'll tell you what, a little bit tired in the morning, but guess what? We are yeah, we love the Lord Jesus Christ, and hallelujah, we are going to do what God called us to do. Amen. All right, let's pray. Father, I pray right now, as we start this new year, that you will stir the body of Christ up. Lord, that we will come up full of fire, vigor, and faith in Jesus' name. Lord, that we will do what we're called to do. And Lord, that we will take a stand, and we will not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, right now, I thank you that you are going to do something miraculous and amazing for each and every one. And, Lord, I pray right now that we will see the power of God move in our lives like never before. And, Lord, I pray right now for your blessing and anointing upon each and every one. Lord, anybody traveling, Father, I pray your blessing over them, protection over the vehicles. In Jesus' name, I thank you for your blessing to flow. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right. Let's get to the de declaration so you can get back to bed. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. 
I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase. I have restoration. I have increased assets. I have great victories. I have recognition. I have prominence. Petitions granted. Policies and rules changed. Battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want you to go out with might and valor. Go and do what Jesus Christ has called you to do. I love you a lot.